Welcome to episode three of Blogger Talk, and this one is devoted to custom banner making for Blogger. Now, let's get some uh, thinking going to do with some banners that other people have used. And I'm taking the inspiration here from a brilliant young uh, gifted singer um, from the UK called Gabrielle Aplin. Now, just have a look at the greys that have been used in a very film grainy sort of thing going on with, with the umbrella. And now let's just, just push this over to um, the Tumblr account from Gabrielle. And I would thoroughly, a massive fan, cannot stop playing Gabrielle's English Rain CD. And if you look, it's the same kind of image, but a different image of the, the umbrella here. And I'm just going to drag it down. It's, it's, it's totally worth the read on Tumblr, but what I'm trying to get to is the banners here and the way the banner has been used. And I've already extracted this Tumblr image and it looks like this. And just just, just come back out. Can you see see the way that, that we're working? It's a very big image, but I'm just trying to get a feeling of, of what's going on here, especially with the uh, the right hand color image with, with nothing much going on, on the left. And I'm gonna translate this over. So I just want to go back and have another look at just the final site, which is, in my mind, you know, I know that Gabrielle's big user of Google Plus and uses Hangouts on Air. I would say, in my mind, that this is like a little bit cluttered going on. You've got a, a very skinny, uh, narrow um, banner at the top here with some social media buttons. Then you've got the menu bar. Well, you can see, can't you? But I'm trying to get people, uh, if they're using Blogger and creating something of themselves, to say, well, how would you do it? So, and and there we go, the similar image. I really like the bottom of this. This is really good isn't it? because you've got the, the film grain going on, grey again, and right in the center, there's Gabrielle um, wandering about with the um, umbrella, which is fantastic. Now, let's go back and try and keep this image of this nature and see if we can create something similar for a test banner. Now, the one that we're talking about here, and this is just absolutely nothing has been done with this, which is the Mike's Downs Creative um, Test blog spot. And you can see that the menu bar is in at the top, and also we've got just Mike Downs Creative. So the first thing we want to do is we want to start properly and right click. And I want to know how big my banner area is, because I've, I've got no clue. I'm doing this as we go, and you can see that just hovering down, it's 880 by 103. If you can remember that, 880 by 103. And I'm using Google Drawing. And here it is, the copy. Yeah, that one here was it 880 by 103, wasn't it? Let's do it again because I'm, I'm doing it very much as we go. So inspect the element. Let's get the numbers in my head. 880, 103. So then we go back to this one and we look at page setup and I want to say custom pixels and I want to be 880 by 103 and that is this whoa look at that that is a, like a really wide narrow header that's, that's just the size that I'm, I'm going to do it so first of all I'm going to use an image which I've one of mine and I'm going to copy that and come back and I'm going to paste that image in so this is just can be anything it's just one of me with you know messing about with some blacks and whites so if I go view and do 50% at the moment and that's what it looks like now what I'm looking to do is I want to send this image to the back and arrange actually let's just get that image and move it if I got it over to move that to the back yeah order sorry and I want to send it to the back now what we've got in yellow because all I've done is the this is the page size in yellow and I'll zoom in in, in a moment actually let's, let's see if we can fit to window okay that'll do and so mm, let's just come back out again part of doing this um, with you and we both learn together is okay let's have a look at that so what we've got here is I'm just going to move the image. I'll tell you, what, I've got a couple of things going on here. What I've actually got going on, first of all, is the canvas size, which is the little one underneath. Then I've got a yellow rectangle, which is just a guide going on over the top, so I can see where I'm going. 
and then I'm just going to line that up. There we go. We can, we can get an idea of that's the, the finished banner. So at the moment, I'm just going to drag this in. Something marvelous is going to happen in a minute. I'll show you exactly what it is. Um, I will self-confess that I've got no clue what is going on here. Do I like that? Not really. Uh, not really at all. Let's have a look. Here's sort of a test. Test. Yeah, why not? I mean, let's, let's just do that, shall we? Now watch this. Um, I'm going to take away the yellow and I'm going to make that transparent. This will all come together in a couple of moments. And this little triangle here is the edge of the canvas. And I've got a trust at this stage. And I've got to say I want to download this image as a PNG. Okay, and it just says copy of banner down there. Copy of banner. And so I'm going to go back over to the Mike Downs Creative thing going on here. And I want to look at, and I'm going to use the menu bar, I'm going to leave the menu bar in at the, the moment. As you can see, it's clearly there. I'm going to click design. And I want to have a look at layout. And up here where it says header, I'm going to click, so I'm going to do actually. Because you can't see that, I don't think, I'm going to open it in a new tab. And then you can see that it's open up here. So in that way, I can get the URL to show you very easily on the screen share. So at the moment, I've got no blog description. I've got Mike Downs Creative. And I, what I want to do is I want to say, in this example, instead of the title and description, OK, instead of, I want to choose a file. And I know that's my uh, download. This is just on mine, and it's copy. I think it's this one here. And then I can click open and it waits. And there is my banner in. It says instead of title and description, that's fine. And I click save. Let's see what happens. Then I can look at this and say big orange button save arrangement. Okay. A uh, big moment of truth here. I can go view blog, and there is our banner. The fact that it's like not super, super, you know, like excellent, I've spent ages, this is purely a demonstration, but to get it in a little bit more, say, context, if you like, I can come along and I can say, I want to look at the design again of this blog, and just to go to layout, and I want to have a look at, I just want to get remove the nav bar is what I want to do. Open the nav bar in a new tab, which I think is that one, isn't it? Yeah. And I want to turn that off and click save. And always click save arrangement before you view the blog. And then click view blog. And that's what it looks like at the moment. Now, I, I can mess around with some padding and things and take this, this white space out of here. But the main thing I wanted to show is that it can have a custom banner in the top. Now, I will be working on this blog over the next you know, few weeks or so and a few days and making it better and better. That is an example um, that I've used from... There we go. There's another example that it was was the actual size of my own blog. Uh, am I happy with the the end result? Mm, not really. Um, does it give you an example of how it's worked, and you can try it out yourself? Yes, it does. And also, we can use Google's um, drawing tool and download in a PNG file, which is just just very very good at it. So, all I'm going to say there is the title of this one is. Um, banner making for blogger and I'll just use an example there go and check out Gabrielle Naplin and there's, there's her banner there from one of her sites and last thing on here I think I should use it on this one and when you're watching this on YouTube you can now look at the previous episode and the next one will be coming up soon thanks very much